Hello guys in my fifth Unity 3D FPS tutorial on YouTube and in this tutorial we'll be covering muzzle flash. Uh, so yeah, uh, right now our gun is animated, has a reload animation and a shoot animation but that's not not, not, that's not good enough. We need, uh, we need a muzzle flash too. Just let me change the sound because it's ridiculous here. Um, Explode. Okay. Oh, is it better now? That's better now. Okay, let's start. Uh, we'll start by creating a new game object, 3D object, plane. And we're going to scale it a bit. I mean, a lot. Just scale it. Yeah, like that. We'll place it in front of our gun. Uh, change the Y, uh, the rotation of Y, but minus 90. Uh, no. What? Uh, just. No. Y. See? X to minus 90. Ah, uh, uh, did it minus to 90. What the fuck? 90, I say. And place it right in front of your gun, like this. Rotate it a bit so it will align with the gun. So yeah, looks good now. Now um, download a muzzle flash PNG picture from um, from any site you want. Uh, I downloaded it from Google. I have it right here. I don't know. Um, uh, it's, it looks like this. And uh, yeah, I'll scale it a bit again. Rotate it. And scale it again. See our main camera, our game, how it looks. Uh, it looks pretty good. Ah, uh, I rotate it again a bit, so it looks a bit better. And yeah, you can download it from anywhere you want. Um. And uh, set the material to particles additive particles additive soft. You can go back to additive or additive soft, anything you want. So it will uh, be visible from both sides. Okay, now let's start. Uh, go to edit component on your uh, plane and animation. Tick off the play automatically. Set the size to one click on your element 0, window, animation and add a curve I'm gonna call it muzzle muzzle flash, ok now um, go to mesh renderer and add a enabled function and uh, yes um, drag that to 0 0.05 and here just disable it Okay, go off of this, uh, stick off the mesh render here again and the mesh collider to uh, just uh, add animations. Muzzle flash. And yeah, that's it. Uh, create another game object. I'll be creating light so it will look m more realistic. Point light. Um, Paint it. I uh, know whatever you want. I'll paint it a bit like this. Yeah, that's, that's okay. And drag it in front of your gun so you'll see light on it. So it will like be like a muzzle flash is emitting light.
yeah like this and take it off the light and uh, drag it to the plane and drag the plane under your gun model the plane and yeah go to the plane again window animation and uh, add a curve point light light enabled and enable it here disable it under 0 0.05 seconds and yeah that's it and now go to your ammo script you made in the first tutorial go to your ammo double click on it uh, open it up in mono develop wait for the mono develop to start and uh, yeah um, create a new variable here um, add a new variable flash game object Rather flash game object and go to your function fire and write a new flash animation we're gonna flash dot animation dot play flash animation dot play so it will play our flash animation our mother flash animation every single time the projector will be fired and that that's it that's it um seven close it and now go to your game and let's test it it won't look too good because it's not uh, the mother flash will be eh. Every time we shoot, it will be the same. So, uh, oh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, we forgot to assign other game object. We forgot to assign the plane. Um, yeah, here it is. Plane. And now, now it will work. If you shoot, you can see the. You can see our muzzle flash animation. And if the zero, uh, if the bullet is equal to zero, it won't shoot. And if you reload, it will shoot again. And yeah, now our gun looks a bit better, more realistic. Yeah, if you have any suggestions, just uh, contact me on my email: three 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 game studios afna gmail dot com. And uh, yeah, if, uh, if uh, uh, especially if you have a suggestions about new free assets series, uh, and that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and share. Bye.